the number of people who are not in care is higher, the number of people who are dying uh, from AIDS is higher. A new study tonight shows the AIDS epidemic is growing in the South. In fact, 49% of the country's population living with AIDS are found in Tennessee and neighboring states. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis joins us now to explain how some are trying to lower those numbers here. Michaela. Well, Erica, there are many factors that go into these statistics. The University of North Carolina, Duke University, and the CDC's studies show the region has the lowest five-year survival rate for new AIDS diagnoses in the country. Despite Tennessee ranking fifth in the nation for HIV AIDS deaths, some are living their lives and helping others do the same. They could just relax. Tai Amos Mandela not only um, makes people movies, feel comfortable at Nashville Cares, but can relate after being diagnosed with HIV a decade ago. I'm here. And I'm thriving. Unfortunately, many people can't say the same, especially with a smile. <laughs> At 45 years old, she didn't even believe it. In a certain population, not taking drugs, not gay, that sort of thing, that it's not possible that you can be infected. I discovered I was um, positive through a blood donation. When doctors diagnosed the pastor's daughter, she had a husband and two children. God allows certain things to come into your life uh, for a reason. And for me, it was the reason of empowerment. Now she's empowering others living with the disease as Nashville Care's Healthy View program manager. There's some fear of rejection. The group is trying to end the HIV AIDS epidemic in the state by providing education, advocacy, and support to those at risk or living with it. Barriers that people can face, material, financial, psychological, that cause them to drop out of care or not adhere to treatment. CEO Joseph Venerante says, Tennessee is 10th for new HIV diagnosis and 12th for AIDS due to factors like poverty and health care access. One of the ways Nashville Cares is breaking down those barriers is by offering free and confidential HIV tests. All it is is an oral swab test. And then you get the results within 20 minutes. Amos Mandela says early detection and medication is key to surviving something her husband learned the hard way. Did not take his medicine well, because of the stigma. And so he's no longer here. It's heartbreaking. Nashville Care says new infections are reducing in Tennessee by nearly 20%. On Fox 17 News at 10, more on what the public can do to help continue to lower those numbers. Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News.